our final experiment on uh, the properties of water is um, heat of vaporization, or how long does it take for something to evaporate? So in this experiment, I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol, and I'm going to place one drop or two drops. I'll place two drops on a petri dish, and then I'm going to take a fan and I'm going to blow on this with the fan, and then we're going to count how long it takes for these two drops to evaporate. I'm going to pause, and I'll let you know what the time is when we're done. Okay, we're totally dry now, and it took 45 seconds for the fan to dry those two drops of alcohol on this petri dish. Now, let's do two drops of water. One, two. I'll pause the video and we'll blow the fan on it and see how long it takes for that water to evaporate. Okay, it's all dry, and that took one minute and 15 seconds for that water to totally dry using the fan. So we see that water has a higher heat of vaporization or boiling point. It takes longer or more energy for water to boil because it has more hydrogen bonds than rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol has less hydrogen bonds and has a lower heat of vaporization and therefore its temperature to make it boil or vaporize will be less and therefore it takes less time for the rubbing alcohol to evaporate.